you know, so I think it was kind of an easier process this time because he's seen every bell and whistle with every program. So, I mean, it's, it's – well, I mean, I, I think at first – I remember his first offer was uh, – well, he got some Georgia Southerns and places, places like that. But um, I remember when Louisville called him to offer him and they the coach said he was going to call him. Mason's like, I don't, coach, I don't know what to say. I've never talked to a college coach before. <laughs> so I remember him doing that as a ninth grader and just seeing how he's grown now. So – um, but yeah, I think he's, he's been on all these, he's been on all these visits. He's done all these things. He's, you know, he's got a very good tight inner circle, um, with a couple of coaches, his parents and a couple of mentors out there that have guided him in the right direction, I think. And, you know, he knows what he's looking for. And I think he's just ready to, um, focus on that next process of just get, you know, play a senior season and have a good one and then move on to the next, uh, next thing in January. Can he enroll? He can, he can graduate early and enroll out of Evans, I guess. Correct. I think he's going to early enroll in January. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are the weight room numbers, Coach? You got a good sense of where he's at right now with his list? Yeah. Um. He was dense. He was right around three eighty five, three ninety. Uh huh. Um. And then I'm trying to think. Uh. Power clean was around two seventy five. Um. Mm-hmm. And then squat was somewhere around the four fifteen mark. And we make sure you go parallel, like you go. Your butt's gonna go down and touch the crate. So for a kid six six to get that low is, you know, a little little tougher. But he's that's where he's at with those three. Well, I I think he's always just played with his with his pads. You know, I, he's a he's a good Christian kid who's always tried to do things the right way, and um, he's vocal when he needs to be. And I think I think that's the main thing that sticks out about him. You know, I think he's just a good he's a good God fearing kid that mm-hmm. was raised the right way, and he'll work hard and. He tries to be dependable, and you know I think that's what he, a college is going to get out of him. And you know when you got when you got your faith first, and you got family second, and you know football, the three Fs, you got them all together. It's you can with his size, you know you can you can reach some good heights with that. So he's got his head on straight, I think. Six five, three oh five. Is that about right? Where is he at right now, height weight? He's he's. I mean, I, last time I measured him, he was right at six six, and he was about he's about three oh five, three ten. Hmm. Was it the day that he decommitted? Like the next day he Kirby landed the plane at off Bel Air Road, is that right? Is that was that the timing or is it all off a little bit? It it was a couple of days after. It wasn't right away, but it was very close, I can tell you that. There was uh I think when he decommitted it was within four or five days probably that yeah. um Coach Smart came down and uh, him and Coach Bobo came, and Coach Searles came, and uh, Dabo came, and so it was. And Coach DeBoer from Alabama came the next week, so it was a uh, it was a busy couple weeks after that. Mm-hmm. Coach, why does all these schools want him? Like when Georgia and Searles and Kirby tell tell you about what they like about Mason, what is it? What is it? Well, I think that I think as he's progressed through his high school year, you know, he's had these offers since the end of his ninth grade year, going into tenth pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, the kid. I mean, obviously, size. He's got that. He's got strength. He's got good weight room numbers. Um, but he just—he's real limber. He's got—he's got very good footwork. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's something that, that sticks out on film. And then, you know, he's always been good at pass protection. Um, and then I think over the past, I think over the past 15 months, he's gotten better with his his run game. So I think he's gotten better on finishing blocks and. And things like that. I think he's gotten better at his down blocks. I think he's gotten better. You know, he's always been pretty good at reaching um, reach blocks because he's been able to get on the edge pretty good with his feet. But I think he's just been able to finish blocks and and see things through and make it through a whole season healthy. And you know, he was able to do those things this year.